Minecraft has a ton of cool features, but one of its very best is multiplayer. There's nothing more fun than impressing and fooling your friends. If you have any, that is. So to show you how to do just that, here are 22 Minecraft magic tricks that will blow your friends' minds. Also, we just hit 500,000 subscribers, which is insane. So to celebrate, I paid $10 for subscribe animation that I'm regretting more and more by the day. So to help me pay off my debt, if you learn something new or enjoy, then please consider subscribing. It's free, it means a ton, and it helps out a lot. So thank you, and let's get into the video. Number 1. TNT is pretty deadly, and we all know that exploding it in front of ourselves will definitely kill us. But what if it didn't? How cool would it be if your friend exploded a piece of TNT right in front of them on the hardest difficulty and somehow survived with near full health? Well, you can be that friend. Because explosion damage is calculated from distance to your feet, if you let up some dynamite and then place a slab right in front of you at the last second, that TNT will do little to no damage and blow up all the evidence. And if the slabs were too visible and you want to be even more subtle, try a sea pickle. Not only will the prime TNT block your friend's view of your hand, this tiny block definitely won't be seen as the TNT explodes, leaving you unscathed and the audience amazed. Number 2. Water in the nether is only possible in a cauldron, right? Wrong. If you really want to blow your friends' minds and make them question everything they thought they knew about the game, then try out this trick. If you hop into this snapshot and into the nether, placing lava and then a glow lichen on top of it will actually turn the magma into water. This trick is super easy to replicate and requires no sleight of hand. Just a quick glitch and bam, they won't know what just happened. Number 3. Speaking of water and breaking the laws of physics, try this one on for size. With only a bit of effort, you can make these mind-bending and water-bending sculptures, and trust me, your friends will have no idea how you did it. All you need is a piston, some obsidian, some honey, or slime blocks, and you can redirect water in any shape or form you want. This can lead to some really weird and cool-looking structures that will definitely impress any onlookers. And if nothing else, they're a great decoration outside your new house. Number 4. Ever wanted to become a great escape artist along the likes of Mythrodak, Houdini, and my father? Well, here's an easy way to do just that. Just plop down a shulker box, open it up, and disappear. How, you may ask? Well, there's this weird mechanic with shulker boxes that if you step on one and then open it with a roof above you, you can actually phase through the bottom of the box. If your friends aren't aware of this feature, it can make it look like you just vanished out of thin air. Quite the party trick if you ask me. Number 5. When it comes to magic, nothing's more iconic than the bunny rabbit. These furry companions are a classic in showbiz and can actually help you pull off a pretty neat trick. Because bunnies within an 8 block radius will try to jump towards you if you hold a carrot, if you hide one of these guys underneath the stage, pulling out a carrot can trigger some sweet reactions. You can then take the reins and do whatever flashy things you want with the redstone output. The freedom is all yours and the audience will be baffled. Number 6. One awesome trick that will definitely confuse your friends is this one, where your head seems to just float above the ground. How do you pull this one off? All you need is a pig with a saddle, a minecart, and some path blocks. Just mount the pig right into the path blocks, and behold as your floating head runs around the floor. Creepy, but also very, very cool. Number 7. Using the ZX law from the previous video, you can pull off some pretty funny tricks on your friends. For instance, set up two pairs of dark oak saplings. Now using the F3 menu, take note of the directions, especially where northwest and southeast are. Now in the northwest of one of the saplings, about seven blocks up from the ground, place a piece of string where nobody will see it. And just like that, the gig is set. Challenge your friend to try to grow the tree with a string, and watch as you effortlessly grow the other tree. They'll have no idea why they can't do it, and what in the world is going on. Number 8. As long as you have TNT in the flat surface, this trick will work great. Using carefully placed dynamite, you can send some secret, wholesome messages to a friend. If you place your TNT in this formation, albeit a little bit complicated, and then light it up as so, when it explodes, it will carve out a cute heart in the ground. Uh, kind of an ugly heart, but it's a heart nonetheless. A nice way to impress your buddies or confess to a crush. Chances are they'll still say no though. Number 9. If you want to send some more detailed secret messages, then this next trick's for you. If you open up the creative inventory, you can find a block called the Petrified Slab. This slab looks exactly like an oak one, but mine's faster with a pickaxe and isn't flammable. So, if you write out your message using Petrified Slabs and then fill in the gaps with regular oak blocks, you'll have a seemingly normal wall of wood, but once you set it ablaze, over time all the regular planks will burn down, leaving the Petrified message in its place. Kinda easy and really cool. Number 10. 
If you hop into 1.16.1, there's another glitch that's sure to amaze any onlookers. Using this contraption of observers and pistons, you can actually create ghost blocks. These are blocks that look real, but actually don't exist. Using this, you can make a line of blocks that you can break instantly with only your hand in survival. Your friends will definitely suspect creative, and you can blow their mind when you screen share, seemingly destroying blocks with just your fist. Not to mention, since these blocks aren't actually real, mobs can't walk on them, meaning you can construct bridges to keep you safe from all angles. Number 11. On the topic of blocks that aren't what they seem, you can pull off some pretty sly swindles using waterlogged stairs. Setting up a wall of waterlogged stairs and placing lava buckets on it will create obsidian out of thin air, and trying to explode it with TNT will do no damage at all. Not to mention, setting fire to it will do absolutely nothing either. Number 12. Pink sheep are some of the rarest mobs in the entire game, and if your friend knows that, then this trick is sure to wow them. And if they don't? Well, that's even better. Because mob spawns are determined by the world seed, if you tell your buddy to type in this string of characters into the seed box, loading it up will show you something awesome. Every clump of sheep that spawns in this plane biome is guaranteed to have one pink sheep. A really cool trick that's just random chance. Number 13. Speaking of random chance, above all, the droppers are known to be random. You press the button and there's an equal likelihood that any item comes out. Except there isn't. Using math and some really awesome technology, it's surprisingly easy to predict what item will come out of a dropper next. If you want to blow your friend's mind in the wildest way possible, this is definitely the trick to use, albeit it requires a little bit of effort. You can check out the video in the top right where I explain how to simply do it. Of course, only watch that after you finish this one. Number 14. Remember the bunny trick from before? Well, here's the evolved version of that. If you set up a pufferfish detector below the stage, walking anywhere near it will trigger a redstone output that you can make do whatever you'd like. I mean, imagine how cool it'd be to finish off your magic show, walk off stage, and have some perfectly timed fireworks with a pufferfish controlling them. And the audience? Well, they'll be none the wiser. Number 15. What about a built-in magic trick that Minecraft has already set up for us? If your friends aren't familiar with this mechanic, they'll definitely be shocked when you show it to them. If you set up a red sheep next to an evoker and then try to dye it blue, the evoker will chant and wave his hands. You can then watch as the sheep turns back to red, allowing you to perform the trick again. This is a reference to the game Age of Empires, and in my opinion is one of the coolest Minecraft easter eggs. It's just so weird and so random, yet it looks amazing. Number 16. Optical illusions are great in real life, but you can also make some pretty convincing ones in Minecraft. Using this setup of blocks, you can make it seem like there's a very large furnace, when in fact it's all a perspective trick. You can also mix up its direction on the wall and have an inverted block that's guaranteed to mess with your audience's heads. I mean, what is even going on there? This is some stuff straight out of a cursed Minecraft compilation. Number 17. On the topic of Cursed Minecraft, you can actually use the world border to make some very strange combinations of blocks. If you set the world border size to small, and then try to push one slab on top of another using pistons, these two seemingly unstackable blocks will combine to form a merged, colorful abomination. Number 18. Using maps, a bunch of white blocks, and some item frames, you can trap your friends in a void that seems to go on forever. Dubbed by Grian as Infinity Rooms, these boxes of fun are sure to scare any players that aren't familiar with them. If you place a bunch of white maps into item frames all over the walls and ceiling, it gives the illusion that the room stretches forever, when in reality it can be as small as 4x4. And whenever you want to get out, just put some maps over some signs and you can exit the matrix. Number 19. If you go through a portal with your shield up, when you come out the other end, you'll be in a glitch state where the game thinks your shield's up, but it's actually not. So you can move around just fine, and the mobs can't hurt you. Using this, your friends will be in awe as mobs attack you from all sides while you run around at top speed and take no damage in the process. Just imagine the satisfaction when they accuse you of using creative mode. Number 20. Using glitches or commands, you can place in a block called the Moving Piston. This block has no appearance, and while you can walk through it, you can't actually place blocks where it is. This leads to some very funny shenanigans that will definitely bamboozle any onlookers. Try making a box and then setting a wall of moving pistons in the middle. Once you're done, place a zombie on one side and a villager on the other. Watch as they both run around but can't actually pathfind towards each other. They can see each other perfectly well, but the villager will never die as long as it doesn't go too close to the other side of the wall. You can also use the moving piston to block in water and make seemingly floating liquid and falling block structures. It's a really cool trick that'll definitely have your friends scratching their heads. Number 21. 
If you want to be Houdini without using a bed, here's a great way to do it. Because of the new update aquatic mechanics, you can set up an ender pearl stasis chamber by throwing an ender pearl into a soul sand bubble column. Now that you have that set up, place a piston over the edge of the hole and then connect that to a bunny carrot detector from before. Now, once you hold a carrot, the piston will fire and trigger the ender pearl stasis chamber, allowing you to warp anywhere across the world and vanish before your audience's very eyes, only with the use of a carrot. Number 22. One surefire way to impress your friends is to survive the impossible. And for that, all you need is a bed and some lava. Just have the lava trickle down from the ceiling, and right before your audience thinks it's all over, whip out a bed and place it down. They'll be shocked to see you survived, and even more impressed when they find out how. But hey, that's that. Those are 22 Minecraft magic tricks that are sure to impress your friends. This will probably be my last Skip the Tutorial style video, so one more time if you haven't already, go subscribe to his channel as well, and I'll be back to my normal stuff next time. That said, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one in a few weeks. Peace out, and have a good one.